what's it like coming to a place where your face is on the wall in version of a plaque? That's got to be kind of interesting. It's very interesting, you know, and it's still kind of surreal to me that uh, I'm here in Monument Park with all these great players and uh, that have been in this organization for so many years since the 1900s. Um, uh, it's an honor to be here, and uh, uh, I still like to see it out there and enjoy it. <laughs> what was that day like for you? It had to have been nerve-wracking speaking to the fans at the stadium once again as they were retiring the flag. Yeah, the most nerve-wracking nerve part, exciting part is when I got the phone call two or three months earlier that they were going to put me in Monument Park, and that's when I was obviously very excited and and, uh, and stunned and shocked and ex uh, whatever, but and from that moment on until the day that it came about on, the, on um, three months later, uh, thinking about my speech every single night, what am I going to say? I was nervous as heck, so uh, it was nerve-wracking, exciting, and, uh, and just a lot of fun to be out there doing that. Now, you were a part of some very, very good Yankees teams. Many would say this Yankees team is a pretty good one as well, uh, the best record in the American League. So what have you thought of the way they have played this season? Yeah, I think they're, they're playing outstanding baseball. Obviously, their record shows it. Uh, but I think the difference this year is they're, they're playing such great defense. Uh, third base, shortstop, first base, catcher. Uh, they've really improved defensively, and the offense has always been there. Uh, but I also think the attitude they have when I watch them play on TV, uh, if they're down two or three runs in the eighth or ninth inning, they feel like they're not out of the game. And in the past few years, you felt like, well, the game was over. Uh, this team has a, a a desire to win, and they, they play nine hard innings, and they're going to be tough to beat. Aaron Judge, 41 home runs so far this season. We're not even in August yet. What do you think he's capable of? Uh, you know, it, it, he's capable of a lot. You, know, you don't want to put numbers out there. I mean, he's getting close to 60, obviously, and that's that's a very doable for him. I mean, down the stretch here, depending on if they even pitch to him or not. So if they, if they keep pitching to him, I think he's uh, capable of hitting 60, 65 home runs. But uh, the thing about him is he's focused one day at a time, one game at a time, and he's not really worried about the stats. As a guy that's played in this market, just how difficult is that to do when there's so much media around, there's so much attention on you? Yeah, there's so much media, and they're reminding you every day about your stats and when they're, can you do this, and, and he does a great job of handling those questions and, um, and kind of putting the team first, which is most important to him. And I think people don't really realize that, that he really does care more about winning than he does about his stats. That's the kind of guy he is. When it comes to old-timers day, what do you most look forward to on this day? You know, I look forward to seeing uh, you know, the older guys here that played in, in the, you know, Rod Gidry's and those guys, and I used to love seeing Whitey Ford here and Yogi. Uh, it was such a, a cool thing to come back and see those kind of guys that, you know, we, we've always read about for years and over, over time and the history they have in this game. Tino, as always, thank you. Thank you.